Today I'm going to discuss how to crochet the magic circle, also known as the magic ring. And into the magic ring we're going to go ahead and crochet six single crochets and tighten up the ring. And at the end of this video I will go over a couple of tips that I use. So you'll need yarn and a crochet hook. Grab your yarn end, pinch it between your thumb and your first finger, wrap the yarn around your first two fingers, and over the top so you create an X with your yarn. With your crochet hook, you're going to go underneath the yarn closest to the hook, grab the other part of that X and pull it underneath. Then you're going to turn the hook towards you and it's going to create a loop onto your hook. It looks like this. Next, you'll grab the working yarn with your hook right here and pull that through the loop on your hook. So now you have something that looks like this. And in order to tighten that knot, Go ahead and take your fingers out and pull down onto the circle and up with your hook so it tightens that knot. And then with the working end, go ahead and tighten that a little bit so it's more snug onto your crochet hook. Now to crochet six single crochets into the magic circle, which is what a lot of amigurumi patterns will tell you to start off with. You're going to put your hook into the circle. If you yarn over, you're going to go ahead and yarn over pull it through the circle and then yarn over again. See now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over again and pull the yarn through the two loops on your hook and that's your first single crochet. And then you're going to do the same thing again. Put your hook into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it underneath, go ahead and yarn over again and pull through the two loops on your hook. Go into the circle, yarn over, Yarn over again, pull through the two loops on your hook. Go into the circle, yarn over, yarn over again, and pull through the two loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. We have two more to go. If your yarn end starts getting small like this, tug on it a little bit so that it closes the circle a little more and also gives you a little more length to work with. Okay, next we have two more stitches to go to make it six. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. And one more. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. So now you're looking at this saying, well, that's not a very nice magic circle. Well, of course not. You gotta pull on the yarn end here to close that circle up, make it snug. So then you should have what looks like kind of like a half circle here. And if you count your stitches, you'll see that you have one, two, three, four, five and then this smaller one here is six. So typically with the magic circle you're going into the first stitch there and this is just a tip I like to use as I continue moving into my spiral is I hold the working or this yarn end here down and close to the stitch so that I can simply crochet over it to more securely fasten that yarn end. So you usually do two stitches into each single crochet when you begin in a crochet pattern. So what I'll do is I'll continue holding this yarn and crochet around it so that it kind of secures that yarn end. If you're not careful, if you don't secure that yarn end properly, sometimes the circle can expand and, and loosen and then this unravels. So you really want to make sure that that yarn end is secured. So we can do two more into this stitch. One, Two. As you see, I'm just holding this yarn in with my thumb. We'll go into the next one. One, two. So that's six stitches total in this round. So we'll do seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last one, 11, 12. All right, so let's go ahead and count and make sure we have 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and so typically in Amigurumi, the next step is probably gonna be a single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the second stitch. So I count in threes. So you'll do one, two, 
three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then our last three. Seventeen, eighteen. So typically the third round of an amigurumi project is going to have 18 total stitches because you do one single crochet into the stitch and then an increase into the next stitch. A lot of amigurumi is a math game. Now one trick I would recommend is that when you crochet into your next stitch, you're going to go ahead and use a stitch marker so you don't have to necessarily keep track of every single stitch so at this point you use a stitch marker and here's your standard stitch marker pretty easy to find on amazon i'll link below pretty cheap but after you do your first stitch for your next round you just simply put it inside the stitch like that and secure it closed and this way you don't have to count to the full as it grows if it's a big project you can get to 24 stitches 30 60 and more and more so this helps you keep count and so then when i count my stitches let's say that the next one goes to 24 so it'll be a single crochet single crochet increase so that's a set of four so I, I'll count in my head one two three four one two three four and that's how I keep track of my counts so I did one two three four one two three, four. And you'll continue this all around your circle here until you meet the end of your uh, round at the, at the stitch marker here. And then once you get to the end of the stitch marker, you'll probably start onto the count of five because it'll go to single crochet into three and then increase into the fourth. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. And that's how I would do my counts. So let's go ahead and do an example there. So we come up to our next round. We take our stitch marker out. And we go ahead and do our first single crochet into our next round. And go ahead and re-add your stitch marker so you don't have to keep count. And then we already know that our next round is probably going to be three single crochets into the next three and then an increase into the fourth one. So my count would go like this. One, two, three, four, five. And I would just keep counting like that. One, two, three, four, five. And that just helps me in my mind remember the pattern and easily be able to crochet it and so on and so forth. So then the next round might be single crochet into the next single six, six crochets and then increase. So my count would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for example. So in the next round, after you're done with these five, you would probably go ahead and go to a count of six in my head. So you'd probably single crochet into the next four single crochets and then an increase. So my count would be one, two, three, four, and then five, six as the increase. And that's how just in my head I keep track of my, my pattern, my rounds, and increases.